people are not getting on the plane, man, they are getting on the plane <laughs> and they do not care. And these rates are going up ridiculous, man. Yeah. Mm. That's crazy. Well, sa- Sunday is the Super Bowl. Yeah. But if we want to stay right here in basketball, since you got what about women's basketball and Clemson basketball, the ACC? Yeah. Um, I'm starting to. Just shaking, just getting some stuff stirred up right now. Yeah, so. where, where you want to go? Uh, women's basketball, girl. I mean, um, uh, college men. Um, yeah. To, well, shout out to Don Staley and the South Carolina uh, Lady Gamecocks, who again for me the most exciting women's team to watch. I watched them in person, man. Um, going to the Bon Secours Arena and watching the uh, SEC tournament, ladies tournament is mm-hmm. is. I, I hadn't watched the men before. I hadn't even gone to the ACC tournament for men. But for the SEC tournament for women, fantabulous. I mean, go watching watching the South Carolina girls play is amazing. But right now, they're number one in the country at 23-0. and 0, Had a tough test in stores, Connecticut. Mm-hmm. Went up to play UConn. Um, and UConn was leading some, um, some of that game. But South Carolina just – they just – they just do work. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> it's incredible yeah. how they play, the intensity they bring. Yeah. I mean, it really is like 23 and has there ever has there ever been a I think UConn's UConn, one of those guys. Yeah, they they went like undefeated. For a couple, yeah, for like even one or two years. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Like, has that been done in men's basketball? See, men, I don't think that's happened. I don't think it will happen. Ah, uh, yeah. I, and, and why? Why is it that? I mean, why is it? Why can a women's team be that dominant, and a men's team can't? Uh, I don't know. I, don't know. I think it's just. Um, is it is that we get so much parity there in 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 I, men? I see that. Well, and then, I, well, we got we got a team like South Carolina to stack. Yeah, I mean, I see that in high school basketball too. Mm-hmm. It's like, especially in the conference that Berkeley's in, mm-hmm. you got two powerhouse teams Wren and Southside South mm-hmm. where I mean we all know they didn't go there that would be incredible if all those girls was just zoned for those schools at one time <laughs> whatever this is correct but all those girls in one spot because I think those teams wouldn't be as good if they only had one or two of those girls got you but the whole starting five mm-hmm. is they could go play college basketball right now. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's a big difference. So I think that's why I think it's the same thing in women's college basketball. They the good girls go to the better places. the better schools, and 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 and, and, and in boys, then it's more, it's more it's spread out. Right. Like we got because there's several more, teams. That, yeah, it's more talent. Like, got like you. it's more. It's, it's very more, rare. I want to say rare. It's not as many great girls. As it is a lot of good guys. Right. right. And right. then the great girls are going to great programs. Right. Gotcha. That makes sense. Right. That so, you you answered that question for yeah. Yeah. And I mean you can see I mean it's I think that's the case in high school basketball too. Right. For, I really for girls, right. For girls, yeah. Yeah. So cause I, yeah, so and but were you are you suggesting, CJ, that there's recruiting? Uh I mean <laughs> well, yeah. I'm not gonna Transfer portal in high school. Yeah, stay tuned. We're we're gonna have an episode about that. Oh, for sure. Um, its own episode because that's we that's gonna that that's a whole another topic and talk. We can mm. we can talk all night about mm. that. Yeah, we we could because I've seen some stuff that looks real shady out there. But anyway, so South Carolina women, Don Staley, shout out to them. Um, uh, their main player, Aaliyah Boston. But the thing about this year's team that I've watched, it's like Aaliyah doesn't really have to be the one to get off in order for them to win. Yeah. Like, they have some players on that team, um, freshman, sophomore. They've gotten some transfers in. Um, but it looks like they are on a course to repeat as national champions. They have a big game coming up on Sunday that's sold out. It's uh, South Carolina Gamecocks versus LSU. Now, did that thing have ever LSU even ranked that you just looked at? <laughs> you looking at Don Staley? Outfits? Yeah, I'm trying to show. I'm yeah. trying to show an outfit <laughs> that she wore today because Don Staley has the best swag, swag drip. Yeah, as drip. a coach, and is this it? No, nah, that's no, um, that's that's me. I got a story to tell you about that with Purdue being number one. Oh, okay. Um, where'd it go? 
sorry. Let me just go back right here. Okay. So LSU number three. So that's your showdown. So South oh, Carolina, they're, South they're twenty three and 0-2. Yeah, yeah. So they play. They play each other on Sunday. No. Oh, so someone's going to get their first loss. Sold out. Where's that? In Columbia. It's in Columbia. Oh, I know Columbia is going to be nuts. And that Super Bowl Sunday. Oh, there's going to be more people. What time do they play? I think they play like twelve. Oh, okay. So they play early. 12, in the day. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Super Bowl Sunday. If you're a sports fanatic, like. I probably got to be glued to the TV to watch that girl's oh, game. Oh, I'm definitely going to be watching that game. Yeah, and I I got to watch the Super Bowl. Um, and we'll more talk on the Super Bowl just that. So let's flip over to the men's and uh, look at the top ten. Purdue, number one team in the country. And Purdue is in Indiana. And that's where I just left from today. Okay. So I was on the campus. Okay. Of. Well, let me not zoom in too much. I was on campus yesterday at Indiana University, mm-hmm. home of the Hughes, but more importantly, uh, the Alpha Chapter of Kappa Alpha Psi uh, Incorporated. First, uh, uh, in, in 1911 uh, is when January 5th, 1911 is um, when Kappa Alpha Nu started. We changed the name from Kappa Alpha Nu to Kappa Alpha Psi. The Psi looks like it's the IU. So that's how we got that in there. And so uh, I was on campus yesterday, man. So uh, Purdue, number one team, playing number 21 team in Indiana. And Indiana beat them. Mm. That place was nuts. I got video. (laughs) Oh, like the area? Yeah. I I got video. I was out there, man. You should have seen it. It was bananas. Um, So, um, yeah, I was right there in the mix right there. Purdue went down. So mm-hmm. they lost. So there'll be some change. Tennessee lost early in this week as well. Okay. Um. So right there in the men's man, it's just the top. So you got, you got Virginia at number six. But if you go down and start looking, a lot of the teams that's in the top fifteen mm-hmm. are from the same conference. Yeah. TCU, Iowa State. Yeah. It's the Big Twelve, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. Arizona. Um. Arizona may not. may be in the pack, but you got Kansas State. Hmm. Uh, Kansas, mm-hmm. Texas, yep. Baylor, yep. Iowa State, TCU. All of them are all in the same con- uh, conference. And they're now saying if you, what you are missing and what you don't see today is what? Teams from what? The ACC. ACC. Yeah. ACC, Tobacco Road was usually known. North Carolina and Duke, who played each other in the rivalry game this week, ain't even in the top 20. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. You got Clemson up there. 20. Virginia and Clemson are the only two teams from the ACC that's in the top 20. Yeah. Miami rounds out number 23. Yep. And uh, that's it, man. Mm-hmm. Interesting basketball year. Yeah. The ACC is kind of – Well, I, I don't know. Is it? Do you think it's because right now, because we're playing – Right. They're only playing ACC games right now, so – I don't, I don't know, but you got multiple teams in the same conference. Yeah, up here, so I don't know. Yeah, that. So yeah, look at. I mean, look at that. Kansas State, Kansas, again, Texas, Baylor, um, all of them from the same um, conference. Iowa State, mm-hmm. TCU. I mean, I, I just is it is it turned the tides like, and that's what you said. Like, where these players now they're not going to these blue buds. Who else you don't see in there? I don't see Kentucky in there. Right. I didn't even notice that. Right. There's not even a Kentucky. Yeah. Indiana was uh was was one of those teams years, years ago. But I mm-hmm. mean, yeah, UCLA at number nine, but that's for them to be in there, that's not one of those big things that you've seen in a long time. Like there's the landscape of men's basketball is that, again, like you said, there's a lot of really good boys. Yeah, yeah. The competition is spread out now. Right. I mean you had like couple years back all like all the good players would go to certain schools right so and now it doesn't and i think there's a kid by the name of mikey or there's been some kids in like his uh grade area or whatnot i think he's still he's still in high school but a lot of them are starting to go to like hbcus like really good players mm-hmm. hbcus and other yeah smaller schools right and not going to like the UNC's, Kentucky's, and because at the end of the day, why? Because NILs, right? Okay, that's another big part of it too. 
In a, a NBA is not taking you right out of high school. Right. You got to go at least one year. One year. Yep. Um, and then you don't have. Then you can go until the. Or you can go overseas, mm-hmm. or you can go to the G League. Right. Um, I don't know, man. I mean, it's it, it's like it's changing the landscape here a little bit. We'll see, but I still see. I, I still say you won't see those teams with four year starters anymore. Yeah, I mean, I think all the well, yeah, there's some on here. I think that will have them because yeah. they aren't like those one and done type schools, and mm-hmm. I think that's why Kentucky kind of struggles yeah. every now and then okay. because it's, they have those one and done players and you got to start all over. Then you have, then you go into March Madness and you're playing teams that have like four Season. or five seniors. That's it. And makes a difference. It makes a really big difference. Makes a really big difference. Um, but so. did you hear about the, um, I, I watched a video someone showed me today. I think, I think they played Gonzaga. I think it was, was St. it St. Mary's? Mary's? St. Mary's. That, they just, they just that beat freshman, them. Went off in the in second half. Was he second, a freshman? He was a freshman. He was a freshman. Had 15 points. Is that the white minutes. dude? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He I went didn't know he was a freshman. He went off. Yeah, I saw the highlights. I actually was on the end of that game when it was happening. I was in a sports bar, and I saw that, like, yeah, he was putting I, in work. I'm pretty sure he had 15 points in the last, like, 10 minutes of the game. Wow. Yeah, he was going off. It was crazy. Wow. It was, it was actually crazy. I, you know, I said this, too, today, and I, I was – I think he was able to – I mean, he's good. I'm not going to say he's not good, but I think he was able to get off like that because I don't think he's played as played that much this year. Mm-hmm. I don't think. I could be wrong, but I think the Gonzaga – I think they played Gonzaga. Mm-hmm. I don't think Gonzaga had any, like, any film or any – what's the word I'm trying to use? Uh, like, what's – they hadn't played him, so they didn't. Really and like know. they didn't really have a scouting report right. on him. Okay. So when you come in and you, then no one doesn't know you. Right. Then it's kind of it takes everyone kind of by surprise. So now they play him a second time, and, I'm and sure. they'll be ready for yeah, it. Yeah. So right. Or did that they game play went into time? I don't know. That game went into overtime too. Yeah, I saw it. It was a good game. I saw yeah. it. it was going back and forth. Yeah. But um, yeah, St. Mary's, mm, the Gales. St. Mary's. Uh, That's another one. Top 20. Top 20, yeah. Like Florida Atlantic. Look at that. That 20. too. That shocked me when I scrolled down. Florida yeah. Atlantic. 22, FIU. Yeah. 22. Or, was it two? FI? Yeah. For FIU. Yeah. Uh, FAU. F- is it FAU? What's, yeah. Who's F? Florida, Florida Atlantic. International. Florida International. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. I, yeah. So, yeah. Man. Mm. Yeah, that shocked me when I scrolled down. March Madness is going to be interesting. It is. It's in Houston. Uh, Freddie Fred, if you're listening, uh, we yeah, talked about going. We're trying to go. Um, man, I'm supposed to, I was. I've made reservations Or to when go. is March Madness? It's the March 31st through April the 3rd. Oh, okay, okay. okay. And I made reservations to go, but my fraternity Oh, is that's the Final Four? That's Are the you? Final Four. Okay. So I'll actually be in... Vegas were part of the Final Four. Oh, really? Or not Final uh March Madness. Okay. Yeah, it was Final Four. Well, well you'd be part of You mean when it starts? Like, it, yeah, the start of March Madness. Okay, yeah. So, like, I think I'll be, I think it's the week. It's like the middle of the month. Okay. That's when I'll be yeah. in Vegas. So. The um, the AC tournament, ACC tournament starts, like, um, March, the, the second week in March. Okay, Second actually, week. I might. That's. I think that's when I would be in Vegas. Yeah. When the conference. Yeah, the all conference. So that should be one in Vegas. I think they played the um, one of those conferences. Who's out there? Um, but I think that's where they play um, the conference championship for one of those conferences is out there in Vegas. So yeah. I would good. assume it's like the Pac-12 or something. Pac-12, like that. something you like think that. It's yeah. The Pac-12? Mm-hmm. It might be. Uh, that's what I would assume. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Cool deal. Cool yeah. deal. All right.